Hey, Gus. Do you want to go to the dog park? Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, it's Zach and Gus from GreatDaneCare.com. As you may have guessed from our silly intro today, uh, we're making a video about dog park etiquette for Great Danes. Um, now that we've actually arrived at the dog park, the first tip I'll cover, uh, hopefully this is obvious to everyone, is that safety is always first and foremost the most important thing. Uh, so even while the dog park is meant to be an awesome place, all leash your dog to have fun and let loose some energy, um, you always want to make sure that in the leash appropriate areas, in particular the parking lot, and um, that they are on leash uh, to prevent any incidents from happening. And the second thing I'll also make a recommendation on is uh, we always want to be a respectful owner, make sure that we clean up any poop, other things in the dog park. And while some dog parks are great about providing bags, we all know that they won't always hold a Great Dane's poop. Um, so I always like to bring these extra log dark, extra large dog bags so we don't have to worry about uh, any potential mishaps or messes from happening there. So with that, let's go over to the dog park and we'll cover a few more tips for you. All right, so for tip number three, the dog park is to make sure you're not lingering at the entranceways. Uh, whether you're at a big dog park or a small dog park, uh, it's kind of a crazy area where dogs, when they're on leash, they get a little antsy at times. So make sure that when you go in here, uh, ideally, if you can, wait for yourself to be the sole entrance. Uh, take your dog into the gate to the leash, usually there's a holding area, at which point you can take them off the leash and let them in the main area. So I'll go ahead, go ahead and we'll show you what this looks like right now. All right, for tip number four at the dog park, um, while there may be lots of toys around, I'd recommend, unless your dog really knows uh, other dogs at the dog park, try to not let them steal the toys from other dogs. Uh, some dogs get really defensive, some might just be really freaked out by the you know, giant size of our Great Danes here. Uh, so if you can, try to, let them, try to not let them steal toys when possible. Guys, are you trying to look in the small dog park? That's for the small dogs, not for you, silly. Not for you. So in light of Gus's attempt there, uh, with tip number five, we'll cover that even though your dog may be a big baby, regardless of their age, it's always still good to keep them in the, in the big dog park if there is separation at your local dog park. Uh, smaller dogs just can be very frightened and uh, just attack because they're scared or bite something. It's something that nobody wants to see happen. Uh, so make sure to always keep your dog at the right side of the dog park when you do, do go to make your visits. All right, and for our sixth and final tip, and this is one that some of you may not like, However, I think it's really important for dogs, and that's that the dog park is a place to be off leash and have fun. Uh, so while your dog's at the at the dog park, it's important to make sure you actually let them off leash in the off leash appropriate areas. Uh, so I feel good in a sense that we didn't have any examples to get on video of this today, uh, but don't be that person walking around inside the dog park with the dog on leash. It creates a lot of tension where they feel like they're being constrained and being held back when all the other dogs around them can run freely. Uh, so when possible, make sure that you keep them on leash in the leash in those respective areas and allow them to be off leash inside the dog park itself. All right, so that wraps up our quick video here on dog park etiquette for Great Danes. Now, if you'd like more tips, you can find a full list over on the website and that's at greatdanecare.com forward slash dog park. Until next time, stay Danny, my friends.